It's time to move up to the luxury of Long Ridge, a gated luxury community featuring beautiful landscape grounds, pool, executive business center, and state-of-the-art fitness center. Each unit features nine-foot ceilings, ceiling fans, kitchen with microwave, utility room with washer and dryer, a garden tub in the back, walk-in closet, and a private patio or balcony for entertaining your guests. Explore living beyond the ordinary. Come home to Long Ridge Luxury Apartments, just off Sherwood, across from Piccadilly. Imagine a sale that can bring your style to life for less. The Bassett Anniversary Sale. Save throughout the store on pieces for every room in your home. Delivered in a remarkable 30 days. Bring your style to life with our new introductions and in-home design service. Save store-wide and take advantage of special financing. The Bassett Anniversary Sale. Save up to 25% store-wide. Sale ends soon. Hi, I'm back. It's Lee Burkeen, Louisiana Football TV Magazine. Before we go back to our guest, in the buzz, I'll kind of tell you what it's going to be talking. What we're talking about is going to be about safeties, strong and free safeties being the intimidator of the defense. Leron Landry, Craig Stelts, the seven years that LSU had an intimidator to put that fear in that quarterback's eyes, to come up and knock the running back back, where you might not want to go for the long run. I mean it. And, and Eugene talking about safeties. And I want to give it all out, but we're going to, I'm going to break down Georgia when they had Thomas Davis. He was a first-round pick to Carolina. Right. He'd come up and hit you so hard, you would forget or think about throwing the ball his way or running his way. Right. Leron right. Landry. Right. Same, same Stelz, type safe. Um, USC Taylor Mays. Every top team has a bit, and Georgia doesn't have a big safety this year. LSU, Harry Coleman, but he's not a free safety, but that plays a part in, mm -hmm. in your defense a little mm -hmm. bit, right? A big part in your defense, your safety, and now the safeties are getting bigger. You get guys now playing safety 6'3", six, 6'4", six, playing safety that can run and get from sideline to sideline. You get a guy that big and coming at you with that force, it's going to make a receiver think about catching the ball over the middle mm -hmm. and for running backs running the ball up the middle. Well, I tell you what, Nick Saban, the one thing I noticed for Alabama, a kid that never played for Shula named Justin Woodall from Mississippi, 6'3", 220, free safety. He played this year his first time. He is an intimidator. He's got 62 tackles, 10 knockouts, and there's a reason he knew that he knew this guy would change his defense. A lot of people talk about their D-line, but their D-line's okay, but right. this guy basically nothing gets behind him. Yeah. And right. he comes up and plays a run. Well, when you play different defensive schemes, this guy may have may might not could have played for Shula in right. that defensive scheme that they right. played. But on the Knicks defensive scheme, the safety have to be up on the line, got to be able to come up in the hole. It's a different type defense, so it's built for this right. safety that's playing now. And Coach Eric Berry from Tennessee, what do you think about Eric Berry? Have you watched Eric Berry much, DV? Yeah. Uh, Five interceptions in the SEC <laughs> and I think three for touchdowns. Yeah. But my, uh, they uh, don't have a D-line, but they got a great safety. My uh, good friend, uh, He's uh he's he's one of the Tennessee assistants, uh, Rasan Harrison, and uh, he talks about Eric Berry all the time. That's all he talk about, talking about how good he is. And uh, I, I've been fortunate to watch him play, and he does play pretty good. And uh, you know, he's another physical safety, athletic. You know, can do it all. You know, they I think they even pondered the idea of putting him on offense. Receiver a little bit. Yeah. And, yeah. and coach, getting a, your alma mater, Southern University. You played ninety three, ninety four. Mm hmm. Y'all won the national championship. Yes, we. And you were D lineman, uh -huh. O lineman. O lineman. What do you think of Southern this year? Well, I, I think that uh, Southern is pretty good this year. Uh, they, they haven't been as dominant as they've been on in, in the past on defense. Usually, you know, when I played, we were real dominant on, on on defense. But that quarterback they got is phenomenal, and and the receiver, which I coach, Jamar, uh, Jamar Stewart, which is a, a a good player, a good football player. He's really coming around now. He's making big plays. Uh, I think if they do a little better on defense, if they can you know, stop people a little bit better, they're they going to they gonna have a chance to, to win the SWAC, you know, to win that side. What do you think of Lee, the quarterback from Harnville? I think he's phenomenal. Uh, he, he's pretty good. I think he's probably uh, on pace to break some records and do some things that haven't been done in Southern in a while. But when I watch him, uh, I'm impressed by how well he plays and how well he manages the game. 
Eugene LSU. I mean, you played, I think your last year, tell me if I'm wrong, was 82 Orange Bowl? Was 80, that the, my last year was in up front, 80 to 83. 83, yeah. and uh, Alan Richard was a quarterback. Dalton here, who I talked to this back. week, Gary James, yep. James Brett, and those guys. But you see the DBs, I mean, you play DB, and, and off the air, you were positive, and I mean, you, it's, it's some things that people don't realize. Yeah. They had new coordinators, new DBs, young DBs. What does that play into a, a, a defense in the SEC? It's, it's tough. The SEC is tough enough already. Then you have two new defensive coordinators. You have a new quarterback running the offense, so the offense is not uh, keeping the ball on the field as much. And then also you lose a Glenn Dawson, mm -hmm. uh, somebody who's got to be triple team and double team. And then you have two new corners that are getting out. So you're hoping that from the beginning of the year, you can move these corners alone or these defensive backs alone till they get enough experience to where they really to be for the schedule start. And not only that, they don't have any depth. All the depth's young, you know, true freshman, redshirt freshman. Uh, yeah, yeah. You get caught sometimes with no veterans coming back. I mean, you. You do, but, I mean, it's it's tough, period. You win the national championship last year. It's tough to come back in the SEC or any division and come back back-to-back -back and win the SEC and win the national championship. Every, there's so many things that have to play out. Nobody can get hurt. You got to have somebody to back up. You have to have different players at different positions. So it's, it's a big, big deal. I mean, and, it's tough to do. And you've seen coaches come and go in the pros. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the Ravens, look at Coach uh, Belichick. I mean, he won a Super Bowl. Right. And he's out. He's now doing Saints games, it seems, every <laughs> Sunday. <right? laughs> yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> he's not a bad gig for being out of coaching. Yeah. But. No, no, it's, it's, it's tough. When I was first in Indianapolis, my first five, six years, I think I had five different head coaches. Five. So it's, it's a big thing. You had to change the coach every year. We was trying to have a, we have a bet each year how long the coach was going to last. And you can win one year, lose the next. <laughs> yeah. you got to get along with the owner, like yeah. the Jerry Jones of the yeah, world. Yeah. What was the owner like with the Colts during the Earth days back then? Were they pretty good? Were they hands-on with the team, or were they let the coach well, do What owner at the time, uh, Bob Ursa, the father of Jim Ursa, who's the owner now, he was pretty, he ran everything from down to the equipment room to the training room, everything. He was involved in every order that was made. If they ordered some tape, he was involved in that. And I think the big difference now in Jim Ursa, who's more of, a, I'm going to let this guy be a general manager, I'm going to let the coach coach, and he's getting in players that's helping this team to win. Well, we got a call on line one. Um, caller, you have a question for Eugene Daniel or Coach Oliver? Do you have a question? Yeah, I have a question for Eugene Daniel. Go ahead. Yeah? Go ahead. What's your question? Uh, how do you think your experience in the NFL will help out the Scottsdale defensive backfield? The, the Oh, how do I think my experience in the NFL? Will help Scotlandville's DB. Well, I'm hoping during the 14 years that I did play in the NFL that I've seen enough of, done enough to be able to bring it and transfer it over to coaching. And I, I do realize coaching and playing is two different things. Mm -hmm. And I ended up with a little small coaching spurt with Nick at LSU. And through watching those, him coach, doing when he coached the defensive back and coming around to Scotlandville and playing, I'm hoping that, you know, I transfer the things that I've experienced that I've gone through to the defensive backs. Well, I'll tell you this. I can tell watching game tape, there's NFL experience behind the coaching mm -hmm. for those DVs. Yeah. Guys, I want to give you some gifts. Uh, I want to appreciate you coming on the show. We've got from uh, Bourbon Street Restaurant. Please take Thank your you. wives uh, to go eat. And uh, these shirts. Thank uh, you. I want to give you shirts from us. All right. Thank you. And hats. Uh, Eugene, you played there. And, and I know you're a Southern <laughs> alumnus, but we've got some hats. I always take and, a nice uh, hat. <laughs> look, good luck. I want you to get in the playoffs. I hope it works out where you're in the playoffs. Win some games. you got a young team. Yeah. And for the two seniors tonight, I know you want those guys to keep playing for a while. So yeah. uh, we're going to go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we're going to have more guests, more coaches, more players in just a moment. You're watching Louisiana Football TV Night.